to North Carolina in Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from uptown Charlotte. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. He'll take it up the gun. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. On first and 10, Prescott. And throw right side here, going to be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Here's second and 10. Throwing. Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. Eluding the pressure right. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 22-yard line. That's caught out wide by Cooks. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that will bring up second down. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. Prescott to throw on fourth. And to find the open man. That's complete. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll run with Pollard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. On second and goal, there's an option play left. Oh, Prescott stripped. On one of the linebackers is good. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? Uh, I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. Young now after the fumble recovery. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five yard line. It's a sack. They'll send the tight end in motion. To throw on second down is Young. This is going to wind up a safety. All right, partner, Deuce is wild on this sequence. Two plays, two sacks, and now two points thanks to the safety. Offensively, there just didn't seem to be much of a plan when they came out on attack. That let the defense create a little chaos up front and set up one of their guys to make a play and get through and record the sack. 
And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come in with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, and move on to the next series. DJ Johnson, the one who got there for the sack. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. No partner guaranteed they approach this point of the edge of ball. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it up. And the Panthers are going to take possession here as they get it at their own four-yard line. Talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. Here we go. Here we go. Right. 97. Brings up second and 11. At the two yard line. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the. his end zone young his throw incomplete as a defensive back you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about and you can read the receiver's eyes you can read his hands and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent and active a punt from their own end zone they need some cushion let's see what they can do on third down open man right side is sharp They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that's going to make it fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it. But to get their... And from their own end zone, it's a fake. And this is caught. A solid stiff arm. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. They'll throw again. Young. This will be caught downfield by Marshall. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Young. That one into the hands of Thielen. Complete. Here's second and five now from the 37. Now here's Young. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Looking to throw Young. And that will be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, well, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Now Young on fourth down. Complete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. 
So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it up. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. All right, work with me, partner. This is a classic understatement. Their execution has been very poor. Last three drives, two interceptions and a fumble. Winning football? We're not seeing it right now. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Here is Young. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way five yards there on the catch and run. Young trying to hurry them up to the line here. It's a gain of seven. Brings up seven and three. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. It's a second down run with Sanders. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Sanders is in. Touchdown, Carolina. That Panthers offense, they're going to stay out there and go for two. They'll turn to Sanders. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And within trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together and maybe get in the field goal range. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Prescott looks to throw on first. Flush to his right. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And that's caught inside the 30. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Prescott. And Prescott, his third interception. And Xavier Woods with a pick. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. On second down, Young. He's going to let it go again. And that's going to be incomplete. 
incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Young to throw it. And he's caught on the sideline. Here's Johnny Hacker now. On presumably to punt, though he did complete a pass earlier. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL at about the 17-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help him out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Coverage on the play by It's Young off play action. Short throw held in by Trimble. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know I spent a lot of time talking about tight ends and a lot of cases now pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. And he used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. Meanwhile, Young's throw complete to his receiver feeling. And he'll get it out just short of the 45 at the 44. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to add on to their advantage. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Ten cycles. Ready? And Young's going to throw for this. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads you to bigger errors. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And they're going to speed things up here. Play action now, Prescott. Open man downfield is low, it's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Prescott. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. On play action. 
action. Prescott, he'll buy some time right. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. They'll roll him out right. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Prescott to throw it. Flushed out right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. It's Shaq Thompson here in the pick. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a great return, solid field position. He's up all the way to the 45-yard line. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. Right, first down, Sanders not finding a whole lot as he'll get forward for about three. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers out in front. Yellow, go. Ready, go. Young to throw it this time. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On first and ten, Young. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Young will set to throw. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Oh, man, late in the tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. That throw by Young incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Now Marshall coming in motion right. Fourth down, Young. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Panthers. 